Arsene, IUPAC name, arsane, is an inorganic compound with the formula ASH-3. This flammable, pyrophoric, and highly toxic nictogen hydride gas is one of the simplest compounds of arsenic. Despite its lethality, it finds some applications in the semiconductor industry and for the synthesis of organorsenic compounds. The term arsine is commonly used to describe a class of organorsenic compounds of the formula ASH3-XRX, where R equals aryl or alkyl. For example, as C6H53, called triphenylarzine, is referred to as an arsine. General properties At its standard state, arsine is a colorless, denser than air gas that is slightly soluble in water 20% at 20 degrees Celsius and in many organic solvents as well. Whereas arsine itself is odorless, owing to its oxidation by air it is possible to smell a slight garlic or fish-like scent when the compound is present above 0.5 ppm. This compound is generally regarded as stable, since at room temperature it decomposes only slowly. At temperatures of ca. 230 degrees Celsius decomposition to arsenic and hydrogen is rapid. Several factors, such as humidity, presence of light and certain catalysts, namely aluminium, facilitate the rate of decomposition. ASH-3 is a pyramidal molecule with H as H angles of 91.8 degrees and 3 equivalent as H bonds, each of 1.519 a length. Discovery and synthesis ASH-3 is generally prepared by the reaction of as 3 plus sources with H minus equivalents. 4 ASCl3 plus 3 NaBH4 4 ASH3 plus 3 sodium chloride plus 3 BCl3 as reported in 1775, Carl Scheele reduced arsenic 3 oxide with zinc in the presence of acid. This reaction is a prelude to the Marsh test, described below. Alternatively, sources of AS3- react with protonic reagents to also produce this gas. Zinc arsenide and sodium arsenide are suitable precursors. Zinc arsenide plus 6H plus 2 ash 3 plus 3 Zn2 plus Sodium arsenide plus 3HBr ash 3 plus 3 sodium bromide Reactions The understanding of the chemical properties of ash 3 is well developed and can be anticipated based on an average of the behavior of pH 3 and antimony 3 hydride. Thermal decomposition Typical for a heavy hydride, e.g., antimony 3 hydride, hydrogen telluride, tin 4 hydride, ash 3 is unstable with respect to its elements. In other words, ash 3 is stable kinetically but not thermodynamically. 2 ash 3 3 H2 plus 2 as this decomposition reaction is the basis of the Marsh test described below, which detects the metallic as Oxidation Continuing the analogy to antimony 3 hydride, ash 3 is readily oxidized by concentrated O2 or the dilute O2 concentration in air. 2 ash 3 plus 3 O2 is 2 O3 plus 3 H2 orzine will react violently in presence of strong oxidizing agents, such as potassium permanganate, sodium hypochlorite, or nitric acid. Precursor to metallic derivatives Ash-3 is used as a precursor to metal complexes of naked or nearly naked as illustrative is the demanganese species C5H5 Minnesota CO22 ash, wherein the Minnesota 2 ash core is planar. Gutside test a characteristic test for arsenic involves the reaction of ASH-3 with AG+, called the Gutzite test for arsenic. Although this test has become obsolete in analytical chemistry, the underlying reactions further illustrate the affinity of ASH-3 for soft metal cations. In the Gutzite test, ASH-3 is generated by reduction of aqueous arsenic compounds, typically arsenites, with Zn in the presence of H2SO4. The evolved gaseous ash-3 is then exposed to silver-1 nitrate either as powder or as a solution. 
with solid silver 1 nitrate, ash 3 reacts to produce yellow Ag 4 ASNO3, whereas ash 3 reacts with a solution of silver 1 nitrate to give black. Acid base reactions The acidic properties of the as H bond are often exploited. Thus, ash 3 can be deprotonated. Ash 3 plus NaNH2 NOSH 2 plus NH3 upon reaction with the aluminium trialkyls, Ash 3 gives the trimeric R2 alash 2 3, where R equals CH3 3 C. This reaction is relevant to the mechanism by which gallium 3 arsenide forms from Ash 3. See below. Ash 3 is generally considered non basic, but it can be protonated by superacids to give isolable salts of the tetrahedral species. Ash 4 plus. Reaction with halogen compounds Reactions of arsine with the halogens, fluorine and chlorine, or some of their compounds, such as nitrogen trichloride, are extremely dangerous and can result in explosions. Catenation In contrast to the behavior of pH 3, ash 3 does not form stable chains, although H2 is ash 2 and even H2 is as H ash 2 have been detected. The DR scene is unstable above minus 100 degrees Celsius. Applications Microelectronics applications ASH-3 is used in the synthesis of semiconducting materials related to microelectronics and solid-state lasers. Related to phosphorus, arsenic is an N-dopant for silicon and germanium. More importantly, ash 3 is used to make the semiconductor gallium 3 arsenide by chemical vapor deposition CVD, at 700 to 900 degrees Celsius. Ga CH3 3 plus ash 3 gallium 3 arsenide plus 3 CH4 for microelectronic applications, arsine can be provided via a sub atmospheric gas source. In this type of gas package, the arsine is adsorbed on a solid microporous adsorbent inside a gas cylinder. This method allows the gas to be stored without pressure, significantly reducing the risk of an arsine gas leak from the cylinder. With this apparatus, arsine is obtained by applying vacuum to the gas cylinder valve outlet. For semiconductor manufacturing, this method is practical, as these processes usually operate under high vacuum. Chemical warfare since before World War II ash-3 was proposed as a possible chemical warfare weapon. The gas is colorless, almost odorless, and 2.5 times denser than air, as required for a blanketing effect sought in chemical warfare. It is also lethal in concentrations far lower than those required to smell its garlic-like scent. In spite of these characteristics, arsine was never officially used as a weapon, because of its high flammability and its lower efficacy when compared to the non-flammable alternative phosgene. On the other hand, several organic compounds based on arsine, such as lewisite beta chlorovinyldichlororzine, atomsite diphenylaminechlororzine, Clark-1 diphenylchlororzine, and Clark-2 diphenylcyanorzine, have been effectively developed for use in chemical warfare. Forensic science and the Marsh test ASH-3 is also well known in forensic science because it is a chemical intermediate in the detection of arsenic poisoning. The old, but extremely sensitive, Marsh test generates ASH-3 in the presence of arsenic. This procedure, published in 1836 by James Marsh, is based upon treating an as containing sample of a victim's body, typically the stomach contents, with as free zinc and dilute sulfuric acid. If the sample contains arsenic, gaseous arsine will form. The gas is swept into a glass tube and decomposed by means of heating around 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. The presence of as is indicated by formation of a deposit in the heated part of the equipment. On the other hand, the appearance of a black mirror deposit in the cool part of the equipment indicates the presence of antimony. The highly unstable antimony 3 hydride decomposes even at low temperatures. The Marsh test was widely used by the end of the 19th century and the start of the 20th. Nowadays, more sophisticated techniques such as atomic spectroscopy, inductively coupled plasma, and X ray fluorescence analysis are employed in the forensic field. 
Though neutron activation analysis was used to detect trace levels of arsenic in the mid-20th century, it has since fallen out of use in modern forensics. Toxicology The toxicity of arsine is distinct from that of other arsenic compounds. The main route of exposure is by inhalation, although poisoning after skin contact has also been described. Arsine attacks hemoglobin in the red blood cells, causing them to be destroyed by the body. The first signs of exposure, which can take several hours to become apparent, are headaches, vertigo, and nausea, followed by the symptoms of hemolytic anemia, high levels of unconjugated bilirubin, hemoglobinuria and nephropathy. In severe cases, the damage to the kidneys can be long-lasting. Exposure to arsine concentrations of 250 ppm is rapidly fatal. Concentrations of 25 to 30 ppm are fatal for 30 minutes exposure, and concentrations of 10 ppm can be fatal at longer exposure times. Symptoms of poisoning appear after exposure to concentrations of 0.5 ppm. There is little information on the chronic toxicity of arsine, although it is reasonable to assume that, in common with other arsenic compounds, a long-term exposure could lead to arsenicosis. It is classified as an extremely hazardous substance in the United States as defined in Section 302 of the U.S. Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act 42 U.S.C. 11002, and is subject to strict reporting requirements by facilities which produce, store, or use it in significant quantities. Occupational exposure limits See also Cacodylic acid Cacodyl oxide Devarda's alloy, also used to produce arsine in the lab List of highly toxic gases Marsh test first used to analyze ASH-3 James Marsh invented in 1836 the test now bearing his name Stibine Shields Green, a pigment popularly used in the early 19th century. References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0222 IARC monograph. Arsenic and arsenic compounds. NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards. Institut National de Recherche et de Sécurité 2000. Trihydruor d'arsenic. Fiche toxicologique n degree 53. Paris, INRS. In French. Data on arsine from Air Liquide.